Hi everyone, this is Penny from Wacko Edge Astrology here today to talk to you about the strengths and the weaknesses of the sign Sagittarius. If you're a male Sagittarius and you are watching this, then you really need to step your game up. Please do some justice for all Sagittarians and be a good person. There is a positive and a negative expression of all signs of the zodiac. And for male Sagittarians, we really need to make that positive expression a little bit more widely seen and widely known because apparently it's not, but I do have to say, hashtag not all Sagittarians. I asked people on Facebook if they had any good or bad stories about dating Sagittarians and I scrolled and scrolled and scrolled to see plenty of horror stories. Kendra Beam from Where's the Moon Astrology said that male Sagittarians are not worth sleeping with. So with that being said, let's move on and focus on how Sagittarius can actually use their strengths and their weaknesses. Sagittarians bring the heat, and this means that they have no trouble attracting people, but they often attract the wrong people. In fact, that I would say they probably attract about 10,000 wrong people before they attract even one good match for them. Sagittarians are hot. And on one end, that means they have no trouble attracting people. They have this lure about them, and maybe it's just their inner drive and their inner passion, but much like Scorpios, they attract lots and lots of people to them. And they have a lot of people that they feel like they're romantically interested in as well. So that can work as a positive or a negative because a lot of times they attract the wrong people. A Sagittarius who is feeling kind of lost or indecisive might end up going for quantity in relationships instead of quality. They have a lot of fuel for romantic passion and I feel that deep down they all really want a good quality partner. They want to find someone who's actually their soulmate, but at the same time we have most of them who are going around out there um, serial dating to be quite frank about it. Now what's interesting is I didn't really get hardly any complaints about female Sagittarians and I think that's because the female Sagittarians like in my comment section even were being straight up about what their game is and what it was that they actually wanted and were looking for in a relationship. Now the horror stories about male Sagittarians include them lying and cheating. What are type A personalities? Those are people who are like really bossy and aggressive, right? Do I need to actually look that up? Mm -hmm. So as you can tell, most male Sagittarians are type A personalities, and those are the ones that we are really hearing the complaints about. But what about the type B Sagittarians? I kind of want to know more about them, so leave a comment below if you know a type B Sagittarius who's uh, more quiet and more honest about what they're actually feeling emotionally. So Sagittarius is actually a super romantic sign and they believe in that idea of always and forever and finding their one true love and having the perfect match for them. But on the other hand, here in reality, their relationships oftentimes go down in flames. So Sagittarius energy is super fun, but it can also be very volatile. They are a changing fire sign that craves its freedom, so things can take a change for the worst quite quickly with a Sagittarius. Sagittarians never waste their time. They never waste a day. They're always craving more of what life has to offer. And even if you're just sitting next to them doing essentially nothing, it's always going to be fun. It's always going to be interesting. There's going to be good conversation. There's going to be activities. You know, these people are full of ideas and oftentimes full of interesting things to talk about as well. Now at the same time, Sagittarius is known for being honest. So this leads us to believe that they do actually care about sticking to their word, which is why it probably pains them when they end up breaking it. And I'm willing to bet that 
Most, if not all, Sagittarians have broken their word at some point because something changed. Something happened that made them upset, that made them angry, the circumstances changed, everything went down in flames, and now we have a totally new situation that we are dealing with. Sagittarians can get very heated in arguments, and honestly, they're the type to blast you if they're angry. People are going to know about it. People are going to know about what's going on, and that ruffles a lot of feathers. That makes a lot of people really upset. So one thing that makes relationships really hard for Sagittarius is that there's unlikely to be a small fight, because with most things, they're going to feel so passionately about it that it just bursts into flames. One of Sagittarius's raw traits is that they're opportunistic, and this is one of the things that makes them so fun, that makes them so interesting, and also allows them to provide good things for their relationship partner. It allows them to bring good things into the world. It allows them to contribute in such a positive and overwhelmingly joyous way. But on the negative side of that, we have Sagittarians who are selfish and they're opportunistic in the sense that they are thieves, they are liars, and they are cheaters. Another way this manifests itself and what a lot of people have seen is that Sagittarians will very quickly hop on a new opportunity to get into a relationship. Now this means that they're not afraid to try something new and they usually move on fairly easily. So it can be a good thing, um, but for Sagittarians who have a, a bad habit of cheating, yeah, it's a bad thing. The final thing that I'm going to say about Sagittarius today is that they embody freedom. They value this. They don't ever want to feel restricted in life. And this valuing of freedom makes them a little bit more picky. It makes their expectations higher. It makes them less willing to settle for someone who's less than what they would actually want in a relationship. But at the same time, for some Sagittarians, we start to see that habit of cheating because they fear what's going to happen in a relationship. There's all these negative stigmas about relationships that affect Sagittarians in particular in such a negative way that make them afraid, that make them cautious of relationships, that make them want to avoid them. And some Sagittarians have a difficult time just being honest with themselves and doing that inward searching. And then they end up just going for the quantity out there instead of the quality. And for the record, I'm not judging anyone. I don't have any reason to judge anyone. Trust me, I've, I've done the quantity over quality thing before in the past myself. Doesn't really bother me. Um, lying and cheating does kind of bother me though. And that's an issue we've been seeing particularly with a lot of male Sagittarians. And if you are a male Sagittarius and you wanna make them look better, then make yourself known. Post more in the astrology groups. Just be around and let us know you're out there. But a smart Sagittarius will be consciously aware of what they want. They will set their intentions so that they can obtain those things, so that they can manifest the right thing and stop manifesting all of those disasters in relationships. So awareness is really important uh, for this sign, especially since they attract so much abundance in everything. Anyway, if you like the video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, follow me on Facebook, check out my website if you are interested in a reading, and if you would like to support me on Patreon to help me get more videos up and help me grow my channel, um, go ahead and check the link below, and I always really appreciate anyone who supports me in any way. I'm so grateful for you all, and uh, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.